Hey YouTube, uh, just a quick video of me Hubson X4 Pro. Uh, it's a flight today, but it's also a flight with a crash and uh, parachute deployment. And I'll talk to you about why it happened later on. So I'm down at my beach, local beach, and uh, more in the air, flying around, just uh, getting used to the quad. I've got the parachute armed done all the checks, everything's good, gyro, compass set, everything's going. It's a bit choppy with the wind but it's not too bad. Uh, I fly down for about 5-10 minutes, uh, at altitude of about 100 metres, uh, thinking I'm all safe and everything. Uh, I'm just having a look at the camera, I find it really difficult to uh, look at the screen, the FPV screen with the sun, it's just really bright, I can't really see what's happening so I'm just looking up at the quad instead which defeats the object so I possibly might have to look into some FPV goggles and later on I don't really know if anybody's got any good ones to go for uh, not too expensive as long as they do the job uh, and I might have to go down that route because the screen is pretty small and I, c I couldn't see it at all. Uh, so, I'm just driving around, I'm not driving around, I'm just flying around, trying to look at the screen, trying to see some images, taking some photographs, uh, and I'm trying to see when it happens. It's about a, couple, about a minute from now. Uh, what happens is, the parachute deploys for no reason at all. Normally I expected the wind to tilt it past 80 degrees. In this case, it just it was hovering perfectly still, as you'll see, and it just deploys for, for no reason. You can hear the servo kick in, and uh, it just comes down. Just before that moment, I was going to decide to go out over the bay, maybe. 20 30 meters off the bay and fly along the coast. It's lucky I didn't because I probably would have lost the quad. And I landed about 10 feet from the from the shoreline. Just in like uh, shallow, like uh, just wet sand. So any minute now, it's gonna I'm gonna move over towards the right of the screen. See a couple of little specks in the bottom, right hand corner, that's uh, my son and daughter and my wife's just down there. It's about 120 metres, I'm just starting to move over now, so any second now. Just listen, just get ready, here it is. where it lands and splash down as you can see it was perfectly level there was no wind involved so it was at zero it wasn't even at like 10 degrees or anything uh, so I don't know what happened there since then I've took the uh, parachute arm took it off tried it multiple times tilting it being aggressive flicking it around uh, and it deploys perfectly every time, so I don't know why. I've got no confidence in the thing at the moment. There's my son, that's Ross. Uh, doesn't know what happens. <laughs> just seeing this thing fall to the ground. It didn't do any damage. Uh, within two minutes, I'm cleaning the thing up and I'm back up in the air. This time without the parachute. The parachute's still on, but it's not. I just tucked it in, disarmed it. So. I'm debating whether to, it's worth having this thing on at all because if it starts to deploy when you don't expect it it's worse than a motor fail yes it won't it, land safely but if it lands over water uh, I think you've uh, 
if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have crashed. So, uh, don't see the point of having a parachute if it's going to deploy when it's not supposed to. Uh, so, yeah, I'd much prefer if Hobson made a dedicated switch on your transmitter so if something happened, you could flick the switch and it would activate. I much prefer that. So, yeah, guys, just uh, if anybody's got the same problems, I'll this is just a one off. Just leave some comments in the bottom. I appreciate it if you can uh, get back to me why it would happen. Or it's an nano, it's an accelerometer inside. I don't really want to take it apart. Uh, it seems to be working fine now. Don't know. Got no idea at all. So, like I say, the rest of the video, I'm just getting used to it. Got a bit of sand in. Uh, in the uh, camera and things like that, but I might as well use the last 10 minutes. I'm just in uh, GPS mode at the moment. I've also changed my gimbal back to a single axis from a two axis because I, I wanted to see whether it was causing a jello effect, whether it was the actual motors on the gimbal. So that's another thing I'll probably change back uh, so I can get rid of that jello effect, hopefully. But the Hubson, love it, I think it's a great uh, copter, a great uh, quad. Just a bit dubious about certain things on it, but flies great. Uh, I like everything about it, to be honest. Spending the last 10 minutes just uh, getting used to it in uh, GPS mode. I haven't took it the altitude the most I've been is 150 meters. I was always nervous that it would tip the heli uh, tip the quad. Uh, but I think now I'd be a bit more confident without the parachute on to be honest. Because if you had like 100, 200 meters and the parachute deploys, you've got to think about where it's going to land, how far it's going to drift comes down pretty quick, so I think the parachute's a bit s too small for the weight of the craft, 1.4 kilograms. So it comes down pretty quick, so it shouldn't drift a great deal. Just pan around a bit, you see how the windmill's out at sea. And then over to the right there's a power station, nuclear power station, so I'm a bit uh, worried about going too high. Okay, so I don't know. I think I need is uh, anybody to come and uh, chase me. Just straight ahead there, there's a power station. That big building just there. So guys, hope you like this uh, short video. Again, if you if anybody's had this same experience, please get back to me and let me know why, because I really appreciate it. The only damage it caused was uh, one of the struts on the parachute. There's two struts and one of the plastic, very thin plastic, cracked. So it must have landed on that. Uh, no damage to the, any part of the craft. Blades were good. Uh, must have landed on that. Uh, so, guys, I'll leave now and just uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the last part of the video.